In this video, we're going to learn how to use alpha match transitions from AIM transitions extension like a pro. You'll find the alpha match transitions by clicking this alpha transitions icon, which will take you to the title section. The alpha transition section interface is identical to the core shape glitch sections. So since we already examined this in detail, the interface is exactly the same as in the video tutorial entitled how to use seamless transitions from AIM transitions extension. So in this video, we will consider only the principle of operation of the transitions with an alpha channel. Please follow our tutorial or documentation carefully since using alpha transitions is different from other types of transitions. This type of transition uses the alpha channel, so there should be a bottom slide under the top slide so that the image from the top slide is subtracted from the bottom. Get it? Now let's choose some alpha transition and apply it. So browse the categories. Um, yeah, this one is great for this test. To apply the alpha transition in your composition, you must select a layer with a footage or a composition with a footage or a scene inside. This is necessary because otherwise the pre-composition, which is necessary for the transition with the alpha channel, will not be automatically created and you will need to do this manually. Okay, let's go back to the extension and click on the icon with the necessary transition. After a few seconds, we see how our selected footage layer disappeared and a new pre-composition with a marker, pre-comp with alpha transition appeared in its place. We can also see the duration of the bottom layer was automatically increased to the end of the pre-composed slide layer. Now let's check how it works. Yeah, it works great and no further action is required from us. Let's go inside the automatically created pre-composition slide and see what it contains. Inside this composition, we see two layers. The bottom layer is the footage layer that we selected before applying the transition. The top layer is actually our transition with the alpha channel. You can distinguish this type of transitions from all the others by the marker ALP TR. If you want to replace the transition with another one, then you need to do it here, inside the pre-composition. To do this, select the transition layer. Then back to the extension and select a new transition. Um, yeah, this one is great. Apply it. As you can see, the transition was successfully replaced by a new one. Alpha transition speed can also be adjusted to be faster or slower. To do this, you just need to change the out point. Let's check it in action. So move the layer's out point to the left. As you can see, the transition has become faster. There is also a second way to do this through the extension. We examined this process in detail in another video tutorial, so we will not repeat it and just do the necessary actions. Yeah, we can see that the transition has become shorter. Yeah, it's really faster. Now let's go back and test a couple of scenarios. Alpha transitions can also be applied to several selected layers in automatic mode although we recommend doing this one layer at a time. So let's select some layers and apply the transition. After a couple of seconds, we see that there are three new pre-compositions instead of our footage. Let's check if everything works correctly after this magic. Yeah, everything is great. Now, Let's test another scenario when we use a different type of transition in the previous layer. Let's move to another composition where we have prepared materials. We see that between the two slides, we have a transition with a marker AIN-TR. That is, 
the usual principle of action. Now let's try to add an alpha transition to the layer above this transition. Okay, we see that our extension skipped the transition layer and adjusted the footage under the transition. Great, everything happened automatically. Let's test it. Yeah, everything works fine. Let's end this video by taking a quick look at some other features. We added another useful feature to our extension. What if we use the alpha transition, which we created the pre-composition, but now we've changed our minds and want to replace it with a standard type transition. To do this, we need to get the footage from the pre-composition and place it in the desired row. And our extension can do this automatically. So select the pre-composition layer and go back to the extension. Click the advanced settings menu and then click the decompose icon. Wow, our footage is back and in the right place where it should be. Now we can replace the alpha transition with another transition. As you can see, our extension allows you to do everything in a very flexible way. We have now completed the review of all the key points for using Alpha Transitions. So I hope you found this video useful and remember to watch the rest of the videos in this series so you can use this pack with confidence. So this video tutorial for this section is over. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates on new products and offers.